Good morning, Crafty Travelers. Today is Monday, June the 26th, 2023. Snickers and I are still at the Red Trail Campground in Medora, North Dakota. We have one more night here. Let me show you what the campground looks like right now. Hello, you have found my channel, The Crafty Traveler. My name is Lonnie, and I am a 71-year-old female who loves to camp and travel. I'm saying goodbye to my husband for the next four months as I travel across country with my little schnauzer, Snickers. We're traveling in my Mini Winnie and towing my Honda. Come and subscribe to my channel and follow our adventures. Thanks for watching. This place has cleared out. It was pretty busy all weekend, but now it has cleared out. There's a few back in the back, but uh, where I am, I have one little neighbor over there and a neighbor next to me. That's the advantage of being here on off days. So, Snickers and I are going to stay close to town today. I found there's a dog park I'm going to take him to. And then we're going to go eat lunch at the Farmhouse Cafe. It's dog friendly. They have a nice outdoor patio. I saw it as I went by yesterday. We decided not to go to the northern part of the Theodore Roosevelt National Park. One of the roads... 85 has been closed, I heard, for a couple of years and may be closed for another year or two. And that is more the direct route to the northern part of the park. If I were to go, I would have to go way out of the way and come back uh, south, which is, I was told, uh, an hour and 45 to two hours one way. Now, I don't want to drive four hours to go see the park. I'll have to come back someday and just go up there. So this little video is going to be some things we're going to do in Medora, North Dakota. Thanks for watching. Well, Snickers and I had a little tour of Medora. And uh, we went looking for the dog park. And when I finally found it, I didn't really want to walk that far, and there was already dogs there, so I didn't have him go there. But we did find a monument, uh, and I'll show you this little clip. This is the chimney of the packing plant that used to be here. of a cattle empire. A chimney, a broiler, and ruins of a cooler and chill room are the last remnants of a French nobleman's dream of a nationwide cattle empire. Antoine de Vallabrosa, known as the Marquis de Moors, arrived in Dakota Badlands in the spring of 1883 on a wave of entrepreneurial spirit. He had a bold plan to make raising slaughtering beef on the same range common practice. This is a park. They've made it into a park area. It's day use only. No, no cost. There's the chimney. It looks like the boiler and some wall. And they've got a nice little walk here I can take to learn more. Here's the map of the railroad. St. Louis to St. Paul, Duluth, across the west to Bismarck, Medora, and all the way to Portland. The Abateur, I don't know, Chateau de Moore's State Historical Site. It's an 85-foot brick chimney. It's the only remaining structure of the Abateur, Abattoir, or slaughterhouse that was the central to Marquis planned to raise and slaughter livestock of the range in 1883. A 
construction crew built the facility in about six months. Staff processed 15 to 20 beeves, the first of a cow or a bull per day. In 1885, the Marquis expanded the abattoir to handle 150 daily beeves. Fire destroyed the entire facility on March 17, 1907. This is the location where the ice house was. And there's some brick cornerstones there. And some brick cornerstones over there. That was a pretty good size ice house. This is where the slaughterhouse was. There's a brick wall over there. It goes around the back comes over to the side. That looks like the boiler. And there's a sign there. And of course, there's the tower. And then we went to the farmhouse cafe. And they allowed Snickers to stay in the restaurant with me. And he was so good, he just sat under the table right by my legs. And he woofed once as somebody came in the door. But he did not bark or try and get in people's way. And the waitress just loved him. Waiters and waitresses said how cute he was. And he was a very good dog. The Farmhouse Cafe, located in the middle of Medora, North Dakota, is very dog friendly. They have lots of cute decor around the restaurant. And their menu and food was delicious. I had a salad and a turkey sandwich. So I hope you like this little vid video on Medora, North Dakota. I, there are probably other activities, but I'm in my camper, just about ready to turn the air conditioner on, and I'm going to watch a movie and do some editing. So if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe. Stay crafty, smart, creative, and safe when in Medora, North Dakota. Bye now.